Hi and welcome to the third part of Robot Structural Analysis video series. In this part, we'll look at how Dynamo can be used to bring in more automation within our modeling workflows in Robot. Dynamo was earlier introduced in Robot Structural Analysis 2022 and this can be installed through the Autodesk Desktop app. You can launch it from the add-ins panel. Once launched, you can quickly go within the Dynamo interface to build your own custom scripts and workflows. It comes on with extended packages which allow you to quickly leverage these nodes to curate your own workflows. For example, we'll just try and create a simple frame making use of the Dynamo nodes. We can start by defining the points to create our workflow and then we can create multiple instances of the same point. We can define the coordinates for the points and at the back end you can see how the points have been configured. We can then create copies of these two points to specify the elevation. So let's say it's 3 meters and 3 meters and then we can create lines to represent the frame. So for that we can just use the line node and we can define the lines representing the columns and the beams by connecting these nodes. So that's our start point and that's the end point for our first column and the, you can see at the back end how it's uh, connecting the nodes by adding the lines. Similarly, that's the start point for our second column and that's the end point for the second column. And finally, we need to add the beams. So that's okay. So we can just quickly pick and we can figure out which points we are selecting. So that's going to be the start point and that's going to be the end point. So we've created a quick frame, but if I come back to robot, I don't see any elements being added as of now. So what I have to do is quickly convert these lines to analytical members. So if I go to my model categories, I have something called as analytical parse and we have this byline tool which automatically picks the curves for these lines to convert them to analytical bars. What we can also do is we can clean up the node layout to sort them better so that we are able to understand the graph well. And then all we need to do is connect these lines. And if I come back at the back end to look, you will see a quick frame has been generated. What I can do is I can just split the screen view to quickly see now when we make changes within Dynamo, how that reflects within the robot environment. So what the first thing we'll do is maybe we'll try and increase the height of the frame. And that is how you see it automatically makes the change. Similarly, we might change the length of the frame. So one thing we might have to do is change the length on both the points. So there you can see like in real time, we can make changes and again, we can save this as a script. Uh, we can define them as inputs. So instead of them being numbers, there are different tools. People who are familiar with Dynamo can make use of the slider, uh, which is slightly more dynamic as compared to the default tool. So we can use the same input rather than two different inputs for both the points. And now when we make changes, you see how the points shift. And likewise, we can delete this node. Uh, we can again add another slider to change. Let's say five for now and just connect them to the output of this node. And now when you change, make changes, you can see how the changes reflect within the model. So we can just increase the span, we can change, make changes on the fly. So again, that's how we can curate our own macros. And again, we can create multiple copies, we can add more points. So look, let's uh, take an example of a more a realistic scenario where we would need to create a complete building model in the shortest time span. 
So here we have a example script uh, which allows us to model a complete multi-story building by just specifying the basic geometry of the building. So in this case, we can specify the height. Let's keep it at 60 meters. We can specify the individual story height. We can define the total width of the building. We can specify, let's say in this case, it's 15 meters. And we can specify the rotation angle for individual stories. So that's another parameter that we've configured. So we'll start with something which is very symmetrical, which is very simple. And then we'll see how making changes within Dynamo allows us to quickly remodel the entire structure in robot. So once we start the modeling, takes a couple of seconds for Dynamo to quickly generate the model. So here we can look at the 3D model which is generated in robot. And now when we make changes, so let's say I want to change the story height. We can just quickly drag the slider and maybe make it 4 meters and it automatically starts refreshing the model based on the changes made by the engineer within Dynamo. So here you can see how it reflects. Likewise, if I want to have a quick story rotation, so I'll just say maybe by 5 degrees and let, let it just quickly do the analysis or quickly run the script to understand and incorporate those changes within the model. This is a very preliminary example of how you can use Dynamo to create very complex models in the shortest time span. It, time span. it allows you to do repetitive, like ease out the repetitive jobs uh, in, 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 in a very simple manner and save a considerable amount of time which is typically required for performing these tedious modeling tasks. In the next video, we'll look at how we can deep dive within the model and start defining properties of the different elements. We'll also look at how materials can be introduced and how you can add additional attributes pertaining to member end releases and other details to the components. Thank you.